This is Creed. He's a tattoo artist. Cree is the person responsible for drawing that fabulous piece of scribble on Kurt's arm. But this isn't where the story starts. Ah uh, yes, it wouldn't be the same without the intro music. Welcome to the adventures of Kunan. As Sarah was in the gym, Kurt decided to take Fox, his son, for a lovely morning stroll. Kurt parked Fox in the shade for a quick little break. As he was admiring Fox through the bushes, he had an idea. Ah, Kurt, aren't you forgetting something? Kurt started researching different tattoo ideas of foxes poking through the bushes. And so he grabbed some paper, a pen, and set himself up to design his tattoo. After a few hours of drawing, Kurt wasn't really happy with the result. So he whipped out his phone and messaged Cree. And before you knew it, he was on his way to getting his new tattoo. Long days, long and nice. You feel? Now, I don't even know, lady. Good morning guys, I am here on the Sunshine Coast, which is actually kind of ironic because it's kind of cloudy right now and raining and I am just looking for my car. Today is so exciting, I am, yes I am getting a tattoo and it's a fox and like flowers and I don't know, this like big floral display so I'm so pumped for it. I've had it booked in for probably over, oh, over a month or so now. I, don't, I think I'm outside of the rentals now. Guys, I'm lost, I'm sorry. Today is finally the day that I, I'm gonna get it done, so I'm so psyched for that and so psyched to be able to like film it and take you guys along with me for the adventure. So I'm gonna try and find my car. I think I need to go this way. And then I'll come back to you guys in a second. Uh, okay, oh, I found my car. And uh, now I gotta try and work out where I need to go. So you guys would have saw earlier, I'm getting it done by Cree. Um, he's like an epic tattooist, so I'm so like psyched to get it done by him. But that's what it looks like just there. It's gonna be like a fox. It's got flower down the bottom, like a little rose flower, and then like all these green leaves and things like that. So it's kind of like the fox is peeking through like the grass and um, or, or like a tree or something or like a bush. Um, yeah, I'm excited, but I'm just like a little bit nervous because I've had uh, one, two, three, three tattoos done. So one was a little one. One on the back of my calf actually wasn't too bad. And I've had one on my ribs, which is like, oh, the worst. So I understand what I'm in for in terms of pain. And I think today's session is gonna be like a six hour session. So like, I need to go and get some like supplies from Woolies right now, like some coconut water and a few snacks. Yeah, maybe we'll just like catch up with you guys back in the grocery store. All right, all I could find was a 7-Eleven found my favorite blue dinosaur bars. So we get a couple of those. Fluids, we want coconut water. Is there a big one? There's only little ones. I'll get two of them. 
and then a big Magunda bottle of water. Eh. It's going to get hard to film. And then maybe, maybe orange juice, you know, just, just in case I need some like more sugars because, you know, you lose a bit when you, um, when you're getting tattooed, you lose a bit of blood. So, you know, I'm just going to put this on the counter and then I'll get something else. Let's get like some sandwiches. That's all I have here. Ooh, like a chicken, chicken avocado. Chicken schnitzel in there. There we go. Sweet as. That's enough to keep me going for a good six hours at least. Yep, just on card, thanks, man. Alright, so I'm uh, in the car now on the way to the tattoo parlor. I just thought this is a good opportunity for me to debrief to you guys like the reason why I'm coming up to the Sunshine Coast to get a tattoo done. I know, it's ludicrous. Like I said earlier, I've got three tattoos. And the last one I got done in Bali, and I got it done by this guy who sort of more specializes in Mandela's and like those pattern tattoos. And ever since that, I, you know, I really love that tattoo, but I, um, I found that it's best to sort of go to people who specialize in the tattoo that you want, like the, the particular style, rather than just going to any tattoo parlor, like do your research, find someone that you feel will, I guess, do the tattoo that you want justice. So I found Cree actually through a friend, Logan. Yeah, and I just started following him then, and ever since that, I've, um, I've really wanted to get a tattoo done by him. So today's finally the day to do it, and that's the reason why I'm coming out to Sunshine Coast, because if you're gonna like do a big tattoo, you may as well get it done by someone who's like an expert in that field. So yeah, it's a lot of time and effort, but um, it'll be worth it in the long run, especially considering that these things are for life. So yeah, I uh, better get back to driving and trying to work out where I'm going. So we'll see you guys at Tattoo Parlor. Do we call this parlor? Yeah, yeah. studio parlor. Studio, studio, I like studio better, studio. <laughs> and um, we'll just finalize it. This is Cree getting all set up. And I squat over in the background. But I think, I think it looks sick. Like that. What do you reckon? <laughs> it's getting real now. Put them in the dirt. Say it again, man, and that's a reverse. Never rehearse. Jump in it first. Call up the nurse with the beat in the hearse. This is absurd. Change your berserk. Don't get on the tracks, man, and they better swerve. Don't got a nerve, man, I never curse. Just casting these spells when I'm spelling these words. That's real. That's real. That's too real. That's too real. I've been most about I need a new deal. Trying to figure out. I'm being a little girl right now. <laughs> so we've only got like a little bit more to go, but it's like pretty well done. We are up to the last part. Oh, it's stiff, that's for sure. Oh. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, it looks so good. I'm all bandaged up like a Burns patient. But thank you so much, Cree. I'll uh, put his little bio just here somewhere. Great, right, yeah. thank you. Appreciate Cheers, it. Cheers, man. Yeah. <laughs> so a quick debrief of yesterday's, I guess, activities. I got home and probably around, I think I was in here about eight o'clock or so. Just had a shower, had something to eat, and just went straight to bed because I was like so tired. But this morning I woke up and like the glad wrap that was around my arm was kind of like seeping out the bottom and yeah, there was like a lot of muck and yuck stuff in there. So like I washed that all out. And right now I'm just letting it sort of dry a little bit, but um, it's very tender. Kind of feels like sunburn, but someone's like punched you in the sunburn repetitively. <laughs> Um, but I love it. I'm so stoked with like how it turned out. So thank you guys so much for like following in and watching the my tattoo story or tattoo journey I guess make sure you like and subscribe so you can keep up to date with all the videos that I have coming up and Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye All of my homies legit really is shit. I probably throw my clip. I sell a boat to a fish I sell a regular you know it's a